Hello everybody, my name is Mike from Mad Gaming and welcome to the Devour Dead. Sounds like a zombie game. Saw some screenshots. Looked pretty good. Didn't read the description. Not going to claim I know anything about the game, so let's just get straight into it. Okay. What the f fuck? What is this? I remember this place. I was invited here. Something regarding catalogue. My host, Davon Maraskew, met me in the study, offering a glass of brandy, or it was scotch, some forbidden, carefully crafted dark liquor. For certain, he kept the key to the cabinet somewhere upstairs. What am I? I'm like a wisp or something. Click. What do I need to hide for? I don't know what the hell I've got myself in for, but it seems to be kind of... What is that? What was that? That was freaking weird, is what that was. Oh, there's the key, and there's like a bowl of food. What? I don't know. I went downstairs. I was click. I clicked the bowl of food. Is that food? I guess so. I don't. No, it's a trap door. I thought it was a bowl of food. There's a key. Okay, I don't really know what's going on. I'm guessing I'm a ghost. A Spirit of some kind? That's what I'm going with here. I'm going with Ghost. How can I unlock this cabinet? Yes! We shared a fair few drinks as we discussed his recent trip abroad to some distant and cold wasteland. After some time, he invited me to the kitchen, seeking my consultation in regard to some strange beast he had come across on his latest expedition, if you know what I mean. Despite my many attempts at acquiring more information on the creature, my host seemed reluctant to divulge, or perhaps he was incapable of forming an accurate description. Well, he went to some cold, distant land, so he basically went to England. Good on him. Right. After no small amount of effort, he began to describe the creature, first in small passes of information, primarily remained relating to me what the creature was not but before long my host's eyes flashed with excitement as he recounted the tale of his capture of whatever it may have been a wild-eyed sinewy creature of some forsaken continent or another both lumbering and impossibly fast glistening on the snow and imperceptible save for the sound it made his description of the thing was beyond anything that I had come across in my research, a being that defied the natural order of what I knew to be true. When my host informed me that it was safely caged away in his basement, I had no choice. I implored him to show me. Oh boy. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. Oh, I, I got an axe. I don't quite understand... A lot of weird sounds. It sounds like pipes, is what it sounds like. What is the. Right, okay. So I'm going into the basement. Is this really a good idea? Is this really a good idea? He was angry at first, seething at me through clenched teeth, eyes aflame with accusation. I was as unsure of what I had done and terrified for my life. I believed that Mr. Mariskew recognized the fear in my eyes and knew that I was not to blame for whatever had happened. There had been a cage, or rather the remains of one, twisted and warped out of its original shape. Had my host not told me what it used to be, I never would have known. After a sudden shift in countenance, he ushered me upstairs, directing me to a chamber secreted away on the far side of his quarters. He then undressed me. Dot, 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 dot. Well, that's the cage.
and there's the chain. What? What is that? Is that the creature? Because all I see is some type of weird smoke monster. That's all I see. I'm really confused. I'm guessing that's the creature. That's what I'm going to assume. So, upstairs? Yes, upstairs. Oh, oh, I'm running. Hide in the light. I am a light! I am a light! It's not me. I am merely a light. What is that thing? It's just... Black smudgy music monster. Where am I supposed to go? I'm upside down. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we've gone the right way back round now, which is no. We we're, we're, we're rotating again. Okay. There had been a great howl, a noise that to me felt like the heavens themselves tearing asunder. It felt as if it was not only an emanating from the space beyond the door but from every bit of air around me. In that moment, I knew nothing of hesitation. I recall it with such clarity that I must resist even now the temptation to do as I did then. I made for the guest quarters, intent on gathering my belongings and rushing to the exit without ever looking back. That same pit of dread that knotted in my stomach then moves once more in me now. The thing that Mas M Maraskew had brought back, it was all at once within the house in some physical sense and a part of it some other unknowable manner. Okay. Oh, this is back here. Oh, this door's open now. Okay. Oh, I'm in the bathroom. There's a convenient number of lamps laying around for me to hide in. My room had been changed. Something else moved within it. Something alien and malevolent. Changing the geometry of the corners each time my eyes were careless enough to stray from them. One moment the small guest room was enclosed was an enclosure unfit for a house cat. Yet in a blink of an eye it had become too large for me to either see to see either wall from what had once been the centre of the of room. Being the centre of room. Okay. In a blind panic, I Threw myself at the door, scrambling to find purchase on the handle. I clawed for freedom, and my breath caught in my throat at the sight of what lay beyond. Stretched across a vast, unmoving ocean of nothing, I found myself looking at the private section of my host's library. As the blood in my veins froze to ice, I took a tentative step forward onto the warped wooden floor. So I'm guessing we're trying to find out what the creature is. I, I'm, I'm going to assume that that's the ultimate aim here. I can't go through the door. So what did I come in here for? Is this, am I just kind of reliving? Right. I'm going to assume that I'm dead. The monster killed me. This is my spirit trapped within the house. And... I'm essentially kind of reliving... What happened to me? That's what I'm going to assume. At the moment. I don't quite know where I'm going. No, I don't want to go to the basement. Ah, apart from that, I, I really don't know. Oh. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're making progress. This is the library. We're going to find out... What the creature? I missed that bit! What the fuck? I missed that last bit of text! I clicked! Dicks! And now it's the, the credits! What the fuck? Dicks!
Because I'm going to have to play through the whole fucking thing again now. Just to read that last bit of text. Right, I'm back in the library. And I'm going to click very carefully. Because I want to find out... Right, okay. This is where it ended. As I reached for a familiar volume with the intent of losing myself in some other traveller's depiction of a foreign land and await my fate lost in fantasy, that now familiar thrumming sound filled my ears. I recalled instantly how the beast had tore through my men, rending them asunder in a single moment. Almost as though it existed independently of the physical space I could see it in. No sooner had the beast entered my sight than I felt what I am sure the members of my expedition did in their last moments. My sense of being was pulled from my now unmoving body, and I watched from afar as the creature set itself upon my now inanimate body with unmatched ferocity. I ran, still tied to this place, I did all I could to escape, running until all memory of what had happened left me, and I could no longer remember the route to escape. That concern is no more. In this place I am finally free of this wretched house. Okay. So we got the ending. The ending basically kind of explained, as I thought, that you got killed by the creature and that you were stuck in the house. Okay, thoughts on the game? Uh, not particularly scary, quite short, but obviously these games are developed for 40 hours, so you've got to understand there's only so much you can do in that time. It was original. I've not played anything like it. It was, it was very simple. There wasn't much of a challenge to it. The monster was fairly easy to avoid, but it was kind of... Off the menu. Uh, it was. We've seen a lot of smoke monsters recently, but it wasn't a smoke monster as such. It was more a monster that transcended being, so to speak. But hey, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below. Uh, not bad. Not a bad little game. Very original. As I said, not particularly scary. But then I don't think that that's exactly what they were going for with this game. But anyway, this has been The Devoured Dead. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.